How to speed up sync between two local disks. I'm running sync to sync a directory onto my external USB HDD. It's about 150 gigs of data. 5000 plus files I would guess. It's running its first sync at the moment, but it's copying files at a rate of only 1 to 5 MB slash S. That seems incredibly slow for a USB 2.0 enclosure. There are no other transfers happening on the drive either. Here are the options I used. I'm running Ubuntu Server 9.10. For the first sync just use. For sync only adds overhead when the destination is empty. Also, the Z option is probably killing your performance. You shouldn't be using it if you are not transferring data over a slow link. If you're using Resync with a fast network or disk to disk in the same machine, not using Compression Z, and using in place, speeds it up to the performance of the hard drives or network. Compression uses lots of CPU. Not using in place makes the hard drive thrash a lot, it uses a temp file before creating the final. Compression and not using in place is better for doing it over the internet, slow network. New, be aware of the destination. If there is NTFS compression enabled, this severely slows down large files, I'd say 200 MB plus, Resync almost seems stalled, it's caused by this. First, the number of files in this case is going to be a major factor. It's an average size of 3 MB each. There's probably an IO bottleneck influencing the speed in the ops case. More here, that's a pretty dry read, but the cover picture is worth it. So, using resync to copy to an empty directory. Here are some ways to speed it up. No Z, definitely don't use Z as in the op. No compress might speed you up. This could have the biggest impact. My test was 13,000 files, total size 200 MB, and using Resync 3.1.3. I synced to a different partition on the same internal SSD drive. With no compress, I get 18 MB slash S, and without it I get 15 MB slash S. CP, by the way, get 16 MB slash S. That's a much smaller average file size though. Also, I can't find any documentation for no compress. I learned about it from this post on stackexchange.com. W to copy files whole, always use this if you don't want it to compare differences, never mind that the point of resync is to compare differences and only update the changes. S to handle sparse files well, can't hurt if you don't have sparse files. Exclude from or something similar to exclude files you might not need will cut down the time, but it won't increase your transfer speed. It's possible if you send the output to a file like this, resync a slash source slash destination, slash somewhere slash resync dot out too slash somewhere slash resync dot er, the first is greater than basically prints a file with all the stuff you would normally see, and the two, refers to error messages. Finally, running multiple instances of resync for different parts of your transfer could be a big help. My command would be, Resync of actual slash source slash destination no compress info equals progress to dry run. If all looked well, I delete dry run and let it go. A, 
X, and D cover extended attributes and permissions not covered by A, L is for soft links, H is for hard links, and H is for human readable. Updating already synced directory on a USB drive, or the same drive, or over a network, will all require different resync commands to maximize transfer speed. Bonus, here's the resync man page, and if you want to test your hard drive speed, Bonnie Plus Plus is a good option, and for your network speed, try iPerf. The post is almost 10 years old, but search engines sure like it, and I keep seeing it. It's a good question, and I don't think the top answer to how to speed up resync should be use CP instead. Use the W option. This disables delta slash diff comparisons. When the file time slash sizes differ, sync copies the whole file. Also remove the Z option. This is only useful for compressing network traffic. Now resync should be as fast as CP.